YouTube. I hope you're all good. You know, like when it's really early in the morning and you're trying to be quiet. Like, that's how I feel. I'm in my own fucking place, but I think it's just because it takes me a long time to wake up nowadays. Um, but hello, it is the 25th of May. Um, I think you guys are going to be watching this vlog after part two of me and my coach has come out. So it's nearly a week after going to have seen Danny, but um, I wanted to pick up the camera and vlog a little bit so you're getting some real time stuff. And there's also a few bits that I kind of just wanted to talk about this week um, because we are less than two weeks out. How many days? See, I could use some energy in my brain by trying to calculate this myself, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to get my phone and have a look at the countdown. Okay, it was as I thought. I just didn't want to embarrass myself. So, yeah, you can probably see there. Prep began 16 weeks ago. First show is in 12 days' time. Which I am honestly... Do you want to know how I'm feeling? I am... Fucking buzzing. I actually can't wait. I'm so excited. Like, it's... There was a lot of nervousness. Obviously, there is going to be, for obvious reasons. But now I'm just absolutely buzzing to go and show off all of my hard work and just have a really good time. Um, so, yeah, I really, really can't wait. At this point, things are by no means easy. If you're genuinely asking how I feel... I'd say I've probably got about 20% of my soul left. But, you know, slowly but surely becoming more dead inside. Um, so I think we're at a good place in terms of how I'm feeling versus how long is left to, to go before show day. And kind of just talking about it all becoming a whole lot more real. Right here, next to me, I have something very special. This is my bikini. This is my show day bikini. It arrived yesterday and I was really busy. I wanted to open it straight away, but I actually thought that I'm gonna take a little bit of time to sit down and open it because I am super excited to see what it looks like um, in person. So I'm gonna sit and unbox it. I might try it on for this morning's check-in before I send that over to Danny. I'm really, really excited to see what it looks like and it's gonna make everything seem a whole lot more real. Um, I am checking in with Danny every single day now. Um, obviously, have been for a little bit just in the lead up to my show because on prep, your body changes every single day. Every single fucking day, you look different. And that's why it's so difficult to, you know, be your 100% best on show day is because you look different at different times of the day like because yeah let's not go into the details but your body is very very sensitive so after i've unboxed this i will do my check-in and then i'm off to go and do my 40 minutes um of cardio on the stairmaster um so yeah i ain't gonna show you the color but maybe i'll show you me unboxing it <laughs> more excited that has made me like Mandy has honestly done the most phenomenal job like I don't I don't have words like I'm just so excited I'm so 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 excited and I'm gonna go and try it on now I'm not gonna take you along with me you guys can wait to see it
I <laughs> I need to explain what life is like at this point because I don't think people appreciate it. As you can see from the state of me right now and just in terms of like being totally transparent like oh my fucking god like I am fighting against my body so much right now like every single step on the Stairmaster that I have to take I feel that in my soul every single second that I'm on it I am just waiting for it to finish like even just getting my steps in even just like getting up in, in the four minute drive that it will take me from the gym having just done my cardio to get home I will pull up to my flat and I'll probably sit in the car for a good five minutes just trying to muster up the energy to actually go inside like this is the point where you know that something's fucking working because you are digging that deep but jesus christ let me tell you now when you see people who are you know competing and you look at the glamorous side of it and you think oh my god they look fucking incredible behind the scenes they literally are struggling to do daily tasks like i just really want to put a fucking disclaimer out there right now because this isn't like a woe is me, you know, I'm putting myself through this, I'm choosing to put myself through it, that's kind of why I decided to do this, was as a mental challenge and a physical one for me, but now I have reached, like, the realisation of some of the points that you have to get to in order to, to push you to where you need to be, um, so yeah, let's just say, I know earlier on in my prep I was saying that I liked cardio, but we ain't friends anymore we're really fucking not um doesn't change anything still gonna keep pushing still gonna keep working but fuck me it's hard it really really is anyway i'm gonna go and have another coffee and hope that that actually wakes me up because jesus christ like I'm not conscious yet. I'm still not conscious. So let's let's go home. This is one of those days where I thought I should probably film this because future me might regret not filming it. So it's Thursday, the 27th of May, and I've just had my last ever 9 a.m meeting for work tomorrow's friday it's my last day tomorrow um i managed to kind of get my notice period to be much shorter than was initially meant to be so yeah i've just had my last 9 a.m meeting i can't explain how relieving it feels to well not only know that i'm not gonna have to get up do my check-in do cardio come back shower get ready just to be back at my desk for a specific time but also to not have to wake up anymore and plan my day and my life around working for someone else doing something which didn't really make me happy like i can't explain how fucking excited i am to after friday be able to get up and just be like right i get to run my own empire today i get to do what i want to do i get to work my own fucking hours not to mention that it's hilarious how how long it takes me to respond to a bloody email for like the job that i've just quit versus how long it will take me to you know respond to my clients or to do my own business emails like you don't realize when your when your heart is not in something how much harder it is to do like for instance the last clip of me like doing cardio you know i was just like yeah it's so fucking soul draining but i'm gonna keep doing it because there's a purpose because you feel motivated and you want to do it because you're passionate about it but like it was sucking the life out of me for the last few months i'm not gonna lie to have to get up every single day to log in and just do something which wasn't fulfilling and like now that i know that it's nearly all done and dusted and as of monday which is peak week the week where we are literally priming me prepping me ready to step on that stage it's going to be all in my own time and 
I get to run things how I want to run them. Like, I, I just feel like I just feel like I'm about to be free. And um, yeah, it's a really nice feeling. It really, really is nice. Um, and oh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit emotional. I've, uh, oh my God, she's cried on a YouTube video. Can you tell that prep is kicking in? Um, obviously it's kicking in. I've got fucking 10 days until I compete. Um, it's just been a lot of hard work a lot of hard work like people um i don't think have probably i don't think people have like realized the magnitude of effort and energy that i've been putting into looking after my clients and growing my business then having a professional job which is quite intense and putting a lot of pressure on myself and then doing prep and also having done the first like 10 weeks of prep in lockdown it's been it's been an intense year it really really has and it just feels like everything's coming together now and i'm so excited about it anyway after that little wave of emotion i don't know what happened there the other thing that i kind of wanted to talk about because this is a moment of gratitude is something that i got recently from erin thompson erin thompson ifbb figure pro um she created this which is called the prep journal and it is absolutely incredible it's so lovely it's a it's it's a prep journal like it's got daily trackers weekly trackers it's got your yearly goals um and i'll show you i've wrote out some of my like i'm not gonna actually show you what my goals are but can i cover this up you can kind of see there it's got like career and finance and it's also got family and social competing training goals i'll be happy to show you my training goals to be honest there you go there are my training goals um but yeah it's a beautiful beautiful journal and the other thing that i have been doing every single morning now to start my day off is i've never done this before it's gratitude journaling um like writing down what you're grateful for some people do it before they go to bed um i found that waking up and knowing that i've got a you know a whole lot to do as obviously i've just described being able to kind of like sit and write down what i'm thankful for and what i'm grateful to have achieved and what i'm happy for in life sets me up in such a good way to like do my day like if i'm fucking miserable tired exhausted um, which isn't often, but like, let's not lie, like getting up in, at stupid o'clock in the morning knowing you've got to go and do really painful cardio, like just being able to kind of collect your thoughts and think about what you're so, so happy to have achieved is a fantastic way to start the day. Um, for instance, I'll show you this page. So it's a daily tracker. You can just write the date and then kind of like what you're grateful for. And then you can tick off your training, cardio, steps, posing, nutrition, everything like... I love it. So this is one thing that I would say to any of you who might be struggling a little bit. Start your day off with some form of positivity, something like that. I think it will it will really make the world a difference um, and it has made the world a difference to me. But shock, I am uh, technically still on work time so I'm going to have to get back to my desk but I'll pick this video up a little bit later. I've had a good um, and exciting delivery come through and it's all for show day. So I'll also kind of um, discuss peak week and everything that's coming up because peak week is next week. Oh my god, we're nearly there. Okay, so it's a little bit later on in the day now. It's nearing 6pm. It has been a long busy day sat at my desk today has been one of those days like you have you have your good and your bad days and today has been one day where i've um i've struggled <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest i have struggled um it's mental that i'm literally about to go and train it's my last full proper leg session without like reduced um volume or like without peak week style reduced volume um and i've got rdls and every single time i've stood up today like Pretty much every single time I've stood up, I've kind of felt lightheaded. And I'm about to go and smash out RDLs. Like, that's that's not... That's just not normal, is it? It's not normal unless you are pushing your body to the absolute extreme. Which, yeah, it's mental. Anyway, um, but before I do go off, I... Well, firstly, I need to unbox this. Because there's some bits in here that I need to use. But also, I want to show you what is 
in this box, which is from, can you see it? It's from Compaq. So there's some bits in here that I've ordered for stage, for getting ready for stage. I ordered it such a little while ago that I can't actually remember now. Um, but I think next week I'm gonna do a full um, peak week, what you need to take to your show with you because Jesus Christ, there's so fucking much. But I'll just open this now so you can see what's inside. So. Good luck, Millie, for your next show. Exciting. Um, so. First and foremost, we've got some body scrub. This is the Tough Stuff body scrub. So this is gonna be going into all those um, nooks and crannies where I really do need to um, get old tan off and to prepare for fresh tan. I've been exfoliating like every other day, moisturizing every single day so that my tan sits as well as possible. Tan goes on so much better on hydrated exfoliated skin and also it comes off better when it's good quality skin, if you know what I mean. Um, I've got Bikini Bite, which is um, basically put it where you need to stick your bikini on. Um, and I think this is a liquid, this is a roll on, and then this Bikini Bum, Bikini Bum is fashion tape. So this is to like tape your knickers up. Especially when I do like the turn around from my back pose and I spin around, I've noticed after doing some posing in my stage bikini that there is like just a little bit of, you know, you wanna glue it in place to make sure that your tits aren't popping out left, right and center. So, um, got those. The stage jewelry. I want to give a big shout out to um, Jasmine from Compaq. I messaged her. They have so much jewellery that's on the website and I had no idea what to choose because with bikini they're very particular about how your connectors in your bikini, like the, you know, the bits that connect the bikini, the connectors. Mm. Um, <laughs> how your connectors, how your bikini looks, how your shoes matches, how your jewellery matches, how your hair looks, like all of it matters. Um, so because I'm having straight hair and I've got specific connectors on my bikini, I've had to get specific jewelry. Um, so I've got these bracelets, which I'm just going to obviously wear on my wrists. What else are they fucking for? But one on each wrist. I also bought a couple of rings, single row rings to just go, why would not it focus on anything but my face? Yeah, I also bought a couple of single row rings, which I'll wear these ones on my hands. Uh, <laughs> and then here are the earrings. I need to practice um, posing in my earrings because like you're not used to practicing with earrings such as these on, are you? Oh, ho -ho. oh, I like these. These aren't even just for stage, mate. I'd fucking wear these on a night out. Um, yeah, I quite like these. Should we have a look at the other ones? And I'll be able to decide which. I'll probably decide which when I put on all my bikinis. But yeah, you know, like when you're posing and you're being sassy and stuff, like you've got all of these like fucking tangly bits hanging around, so. These are a little bit longer, but more sh Ooh. I don't know. I think I prefer these. I'm not sure, but even so. Oh, this is getting me excited. RDLs are gonna be fine now. Who gives a fuck that I might faint? I'm excited. Um, Cool, so that's the jewellery. And then finally, the last bit that I've got. This is a bronzy. So, give your fake tan the respect it deserves with bronzy. So what this is, it's 
a jumpsuit essentially so it's got a full hood and it's a full body jumpsuit but the material inside is specific material which your tan sits on really nicely and it's meant to kind of reduce all smudging of your tan it's very comfy it's got big pockets it's really loose it doesn't have too much elastication so all of this this is basically when i go and get my tan done this is what i'm going to go in they're going to tan me and then this is what i'll wear from until i get on stage basically to keep my tan completely intact and it's like it's it's really warm actually and soft so it was a little bit expensive i won't lie but the thing is i'm not gonna only use this for show tan like i can sleep in this when i do my own tan because i do my fake tan and then sleep in it so i can use this stops me getting like the bed sheets as horrible as they would be and also like I'll be fucking freezing. So to have a full length jumpsuit to wear, which has kind of got like, the hoodie is all like, nice fabric. Yeah, is there anything else? No. Okay, well that's everything. I've literally ordered everything else, which I'll go through in another video um, in terms of like what you need to pack for stage. But I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. Hello YouTube, it is Editing Millie here. It is Monday the 31st of May, which means it is peak week. We are here. Um, I've realised how long this video is and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upload this tomorrow. So you'll be watching this on Tuesday the 1st of June. I will be competing on Sunday the 6th of June. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a whole peak week video where I'm going to run you through how my peak week is, what we're doing, how I'm getting ready for show and all of that good stuff. What you will also see this week is the Q&A of me and my coach when we sat down and trained together a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to keep things in a little bit more real time so that you guys can kind of see the recap of what's happened over this last week or two because um i know that you didn't kind of get this video put out last week to see what i was actually up to and how things have been going and as you can see in this video um yeah there were some moments where things have been a fucking grind but peak week is here it means it's time to put my feet up and rest up a little bit Genuinely, today was the first day that I have woken up feeling relatively human in a really, really long time. Um, so, yeah, it's time for me to rest up, feed up and get ready for show on Sunday. Um, so... If you guys have any questions that you might want me to cover in this peak week video or anything that you want me to see, pop them in the comments below. Um, but otherwise, I'll kind of release that video towards the end of the week as it gets closer to show. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to take you guys along with me. As always, please do drop the video a like and please subscribe if you are new or if you're following along. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers. I'm so excited. Thank you all for supporting me along the way. Um, it really, really means a huge amount, more than you could know. Um, so yeah, thank you so much guys. Have a good one and I will see you in the next one. Much love. Mm -hmm.